It's time for Shrine Watch! Shrine Watch is a show where Panda shows you all the birds. Yes, he is. He takes them into the game to show you how they work. Yeah, it's Shrine Watch! Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to Shrine Watch, the show where we take a look at the perks on the Shrine of Secrets. Now split into two parts, I'll be doing Dead by Daylight news tomorrow. I think it makes more sense to do it this way instead of doing it the other way. That way we get the shrine done on the day the shrine comes out and the news that always drops later in the day, we can actually cover tomorrow. So what is on the shrine this week? Let's take a little peek, starting with our survivor perks. Our first perk is a Laurie Strode perk. It's 14th time on the shrine we have Object of Obsession. Definitely not the crazy perk that it used to be. Whenever the killer would be able to see your aura, you gain a 6% bonus to healing, repairing, and cleansing. And every 30 seconds for 3 seconds, you will be able to see the killer's aura, and the killer will also be able to see yours. Obviously, because he can see yours, that means you can see theirs. I was actually ready to downvote and shit all over this perk, but after using it a bit today, it was actually quite a lot of fun, and I do think it got me some actual value. So, not entirely sure how I rate this, uh, but it's definitely a weird one. The fact that it's just a 6% bonus for those 3 seconds, I can't think of many more situations where the killer's been able to see you for ages and ages and ages, so you'll get a bunch of use out of this, but knowing where the killer is every 30 seconds is pretty cool. Our second survivor perk is a David King perk. It's 15th time on the shrine. We have the horrible No Mither. You're bloody broken for the whole game. You can never be healed. You're injured permanently. Uh, you don't leave blood on the ground, which is nice. You are a lot quieter in your grunts of pain, and you can get back up off the ground completely throughout the game whenever left down and do it 25% faster. But keep in mind that the killer will know that you've got this from the start and will just pick you up straight away. There's going to be very few situations where a killer knocks you down with no mither and then doesn't pick you up straight away because it just makes no sense. They know that you're going to be able to get back up. Definitely a weird perk. I feel like they could actually make this kind of cool, but at the moment it's just not fun for survivors. If you started the match at full health and then it never showed the killer that you were broken or something, I don't know. I feel like if you started the game with full health, that would actually be interesting and it would give you a bit of a chance to play around it. But in its current state, you're just injured and it sucks. And over on our killer perks, our first perk is a Legion perk. It's fifth time on the shrine, we have Mad Grit. Now this is a perk that I really used to have a lot of fun with. Uh, when it first came out, I invented this build called Fruit Ninja. And honestly, quite a lot of people now do call it Fruit Ninja. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So when you're carrying a survivor on your shoulder, if you hit anyone else, so if someone body blocks you or you have agitation and you catch them up and hit them, the wiggle timer for the survivor on your shoulder will be paused for four seconds. And not only that, you can swing like an absolute mad dog. It is absolutely crazy the speed that you can swing at uh, and it just looks hilarious. From the survivor point of view, it looks hilarious. From the killer, it looks hilarious. And it really is just a lot of fun to swing your weapon around like absolutely mad, I guess. Our second perk on the shrine is a hag perk. It's 12th time on the shrine, which for a killer that's been out as long as the hag seems like a small amount. It is Hex Devour Hope. When a survivor is hooked and you're more than 25 meters away and someone saves, you'll get one stack of this perk. The first two tokens don't really do too much. You get a bit of haste after hooking someone, but when it gets to three, everyone is exposed. You can down them in one hit. And if you can manage to get it up to five tokens, which is not that easy, you can just mori them. You get your execution finisher straight away. Just kill them on the ground. And that's that. But as it is a hex perk, of course, you are limited by the fact that someone, once you get three stacks, you know, if they don't already find it before then, once you get three stacks and they're aware that you've got it, then they're going to go totem hunting and they're probably going to destroy it. However, when this perk does work and you get value out of it, it just feels so snowball -y. Suddenly you're just absolutely killing people, knocking them down, you know, just morrying them essentially and speeding up the just the speed of the game. You know, you're just carving through the survivors. So there are our perks, and what are my picks going to be? Well, if you're a survivor, it's got to be Object of Obsession. I don't recommend taking no either at all. Object, I think, actually could be kind of cool. I do think it could be kind of cool. Uh, I actually got some value out of it. Knowing where the killer is and what way they're going every 30 seconds does really give you a good bit of knowledge, but the downside being the killer can see you too if they're looking around, but only if they're looking around. And over on killer side, I don't know, I can't decide really. I do like Devout Hope. When it works, you know, it just feels great. But when it gets destroyed, before you get any value out of it, it just feels completely useless. But Mad Grit, if you pair it with Agitation and Iron Grasp, you just become a shoulder-mounted 
survivor carrying killing machine and it is actually a lot of fun uh, and if you can actually get a team that's altruistic and they're trying to body block or you can you know get them all in one area it can be so much fun and you can just i know it just changes the game into this really weird little mini game of can you chase people down with someone on your shoulder and whack them so there are our perks let's see if i can take them in some real games and get some value out of them okay devour hope and mad grit can we do it can we get some devour hope value honestly the answer is probably going to be big no it's really hard to get devour hope especially to five stacks but you know what two stacks three stacks definitely doable but at the end of the day five ah they're just gonna find the totem uh hello nice that's a pretty sweet start nancy straight into a wall yes nancy oh she dodged it i'm actually legit impressed very good nancy very good Where the hell is she? <laughs> Legit. Okay, I don't want to loop you around here for 10 hours, Nancy. Come on, just drop the pallet. Just drop the pallet. Just drop it. Just drop it, Nancy. All right, hit the dead hard. Please! Oh, so close. So bloody close. We can have generators popping all over the place thanks to that damn loop there. They're downstairs. Fine, I'll attack you guys instead. Come here, Yui. I guess the more people injured, the better at this point in the game, but damn. Man, what is with the frame stutters? I've seen loads of people having these issues. Okay. And the chains are broken. Where the hell is she? Come here, my little sausage. Oh my god! Right. Get her, Chains! Ah, she didn't window it. God damn it. <gasps> what on earth? Okay, these survivors are super hardcore. Come here. Oh good, you get that pallet as well? Hell yeah. Hi, Nancy. All right, one gen. Oh, my God. Okay, finally a knockdown. Wow, that took like 3,000 hours. Well, then. Where's that Yui hiding? Oh, right next to the totem. That's not a good, that's not a good call. Yui, I've got mad grit, Yui. Don't do it, Yui. What a sausage. Right, well, we got the extended uh, carry there from the beautiful mad grit. Who goes there? I'm coming for you, Feng. I need to actually get miles away for uh, Devour Hope to work. Damn it. Damn you, survivors. Right, well, we're going to have to try and really work on this now. You go here. And the chase is on. Hopefully. Uh, let's go find someone. They're all injured. Oh my god, they're all over there. Let's not let them know that the hook is coming. It's hook time. More pallets? More pallets. Hey, that's a nice injury. Yeah, yeah, blind me. Blind me all you like. I'm coming to eat your face off, thing. Oh, shit, man. Missing these chains is actually ruining my day right now. What is this lag? Okay, we've got one stack of Devour Hope. Very, very tasty. Uh, that's going to help us out here. Let's take you over here, my little friend. Uh, definitely going to be an interesting game here. I don't see myself getting that many kills. Unless we can get Devour Hope on the go. And then it's going to suddenly be an absolutely stonking game. Uh, and I'm going to be very happy with it. Let's go kick this gen. Someone just dropped down here? That was weird. Uh, can we go for the thing? Where is it? It was right above me. God damn it. Wait, I'm too close. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Two stacks. Good. Good. I guess I'll go straight back to it because I'm feeling a little bit frisky here. Let's hit Neo with the big chains. Ch 
chains up the butthole. She can't do any heals or anything. It's perfect. It's the dream. And we're chasing. Okay, two gens left. Oh my god, what is with the stutters? This shit is insane. My hooks, though, seemingly on point. There's no pallets in here. Hit the dead hard. Okay, or just get hit. Okay, we're actually going for our third stack here. Awesome, we got some value out of... Mad Grit so far. Are we going to get value out of Devour Hope? Can we get to five stacks? That would be the absolute dream scenario here. Okay, there we go. Three stacks. Now we're in the power zone. Go do it. Go do it. Okay, Nancy. That's stack number four coming up. Very nice. Very nice. Happy with that. Okay, now they're all going into super defensive mode, looking for the totem. I like it. I like it. Can we get to four and five stacks? Yes. 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 Okay, I see scratch marks over here. Let's go chase. See if we can find someone. Get some absolutely colossal... I see you. Why would you be doing that? I'm just going to teleport to you and bloody hook your face off. Damn it. Okay, four stacks. I'm coming for you, Yui. I'm coming for that fifth stack, my little friend. This is glorious. Okay, they're on that gen. Uh, I guess we can go for it. Yeah, we're going for it. They're doing the skill checks. You better get off my bloody generator survivors. Who's here? It's Nancy and it's Feng. I'll take Feng this time. In fact, we'll go for Nancy as well. Just for the pure reason that she just stuck around there. And did not get off the gen. She just tried to push it. Uh, even while injured. I don't like that. Hit this. Okay, and we're going to be getting some beautiful, delicious, tasty Mori. Sending them into the Shadow Realm. Unless they destroy that totem, which I really, really hope they don't. Turbo boost. Okay, right. Well, my little friends. I know Nia's over here. Right behind this wall. Oh, it's Mori time. Okay, five stacks. Beautiful. Wow. Actually impressed with myself. I'm sorry, Nancy. You're paying the price. <laughs> oh, I love their little face. Bye. Have a nice trip. And now... Oh. They got it. But you know what? At least we got some value out of Devour Hope. We actually got a lot of knockdowns there uh, due to that. So, I'm happy with that. Hello, friends. Yui, you're gonna die now. You've annoyed me, Yui. You've annoyed me. And now it's time <gasps> to pay. Uh, I don't have any end game though. That's definitely worth noting, is that my end game capability is completely shredded. Dude, the lag. What <laughs> wasn't happening yesterday when I was playing? Maybe it's just my computer failing, because honestly, the computer is garbage. Oh man, I nearly got a feet! <laughs> More. More. I wish that they would come over here and start trying to body block and stuff. So I could hit him with the hot and spicy uh, mad grit. Maybe they're back on this generator? Oh my god, lagged into a wall. They're not on the generator. Okay, good, 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 good. Having a good time here, honestly. How many hooks left? Four hooks left. Okay, cool. Right, I do like the situation that we're in right now. This gen underneath me is not being worked on. Huh. Well, actually, they destroyed the totem over here, so I assume they're on this generator. Let's use our big brain super knowledge to find them. They are not. Okay, maybe in the basement shack? They are. Wait, they're not there? Oh, I see the blood. They were here. It's Feng Min. Jeez, we're actually doing it. Nice. Okay, I'm happy about this. Uh, and give it a kick. You know, the other two are over there because they just saved. So we are chilling. Nice. The good bit of murder here. Please be dead. Yes. 
Okay, well now at this point, I mean, sheesh. what are we gonna do? Worst case scenario, we get three kills, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I tried to kill that, unfortunately. Oh! And the chains are on. And my eyes have failed me. They're failing me. You're over there. Oh, I see scratch marks over here, so... I'm going this way. Hey, Nia. Okay, why did you do that? That was weird. Oh! <laughs> Pinhead, you can be a cruel bastard. No window? Okay, cool. Oh my god! Will I ever be able to hit some chains? This game's been a real roller coaster of emotions for me. Let's just go for it. Drop the pallet. No drop the pallet. Go for the window. You're coming with me. Okay, right. Well, I think we are definitely <laughs> doing pretty nice here. Hook up over here and then... I don't know, just wrap it up. Wrap it up in a beautiful way. She's dead. Okay, right. Well, Yui's out there somewhere. And she's out. Okay, you know what? That was pretty bloody good. I didn't think that would go well at all. GG! And thanks to the double blood points, we got 85,000 BP that game. That is actually pretty delicious. And we got a GG back. Cool. Okay, let's try a little bit of Dwight for our survivor game here. We've got <laughs> no mither and object. I'm going to use sprint burst and we'll make it. Uh, and I might as well use a flashlight if I'm going to wear this obnoxious sweatshirt. Let's go Dwight. Kill 12 survivors. I'm going to do my absolute best. Okay. Big surprise. We're bloody injured from the start. It's going to be a great game. Uh, Jill's like, you idiot. Why have you brought in no mither? Oh, and I got sprint burst as well. Noted. Noted. Uh, this is going to be bloody horrible. Jill, why have I done this to myself? I don't know. I don't know. And why don't I have dead hard? This is going to be the worst game of my life. Oh shit, object just went off. Okay. We're chilling. Honestly, what is this build? Who decided the shrine this week? Object and no mither. <laughs> Basically, a little target on my back saying, Kill me! Please kill me! In three, two, one, and... <laughs> Didn't see the killer. So, it must be a stealth killer. It's going to be Michael... Or it's going to be Ghostface. Or it's going to be... Wraith? Hmm. It is a Michael. And he's bloody miles away. Okay, let's use this opportunity to go and do some gens with Jill. Okay, hi, I'm Trash is down. Big shame. I'm not taking that. <laughs> Actually, wait. I can take it out and put it... In this pallet. So then people might see it. But I'm going to keep my bloody devil flashlight... Uh, keep it close to me. It looks like they're all doing the gens in the same part of the map. Uh, which is definitely a bad idea. And if you had barbecue, which let's face it. Who doesn't have barbecue when it's double blood points? A mad dog. Don't look up here. <laughs> Don't look up here. Oh, and he's off. He's popping off. Ooh. Oh, shit. Are we just doing this gen? Are we just gen rushing? Okay, interesting tactic. Uh, where's Michael? Object shows me he's bloody miles away. We're chilling. <gasps> Let's go, Dwight! I'm coming to save you, friend. Don't die, Michaela. Actually, wait. You're a boon beast. You can die if you want to. Would you like heals? No? You sure? Come on, Mick. Oh shit, I've got wheel make it. Damn, that's a fast heal. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no. Well, I didn't get a chance to get up off the ground with no mother because I got bloody picked up straight away. Yes, Jill. Elite plays. Okay, that was not elite. Well, we got one gen left. It's looking pretty good. We've got a tiny bit of luck. Get yourself off, Dwight. 
Okay. It was worth a try. It's gone into mega mode. Save my sprint burst. Just save the sprint burst. Someone else is going to die. Who was that that saved me? Was it Michaela? Don't die, Michaela. Uh, made me... Oh, no. Why would you be near the killer? You're on your last hook. That was a silly move. I'd imagine he's going to come over here and eat my ass. Look at that. Three seconds of pure speed. <laughs> Shit, that's just crazy. Uh, I don't know where Meg is. I assume she's doing that gen over there. Come on, Meg. One of us will do the gen. Will I get out by using Gnome either? I seriously doubt it. Oh, Rancor? Shit. She's going to see me with... He looks the other way. Matt, I'm dead if he catches me. Rancor. Imagine having Rancor and killing the poor little Dwight with his purple shirt on. Oh, shit. He's attacked Meg over there. <laughs> Makes me chased out. Okay, right. Well, it's up to us here, my little friend. Uh, who's going to survive? Is it you or is it me? Hopefully it's me. Go this way. Oh, shit. He's just seen me. I'm in a world of trouble here. Uh, the gate must be over in this direction somewhere. Is he gone after her? Come on, Dwight. Can we get out with no mother? The trickiest perk to escape with ever. Oh. Oh, no. He's just seen me with the stupid perk. The stupid fucking perk. Is he going to pick her up? I hate you, no mother. Crawl for the gate, knobhead. Oh my god, she got back up. Literally saved by Unbreakable. Amazing! Three people out. I didn't think this was going to happen, especially as I've got bloody rancor on me right now. Nice one, team. Actually impressed. Beautiful. God, Dwight, you're so handsome and good at escaping. Oh, I didn't... Oh, shit. Look how close David is. I didn't bring bloody dead heart. What was I thinking? What a terrible idea. Wait. Oh, it's Victor. It's a bloody twins. Oh, my God. The echo. The reverb on that poor Victor. Intense. I'm doing totems. Oh, no. It's bloody Victor. Oh, he ate my soul. Right, but I have no mither. So, can I get myself back up? Quickly. Take the Cheryl. Take the Cheryl. Don't take the... Don't take the Jeff. Why the Jeff? Why do you hate Jeff so much, twins? Uh, okay. She's blocking herself with Victor! Oh my god. No! No! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's so close. Double close. All right, hoping this is the ruin. Come on, lit totem. Hell yeah. Okay, two of the killer's perks have been eliminated. Okay, Victor's out there getting his ass kicked. I like it. Very good, very good, very good. Well done, team. Can we get out a second time using no mither? And not object, a kindred instead? Okay, we dinged it. It had to be done. 
It had to be done. Uh, let's try and camp and see if we can get a flash flashlight here. Shit. Oh, and she goes for the bloody Jeff. She knows the Nomai the power. Oh, you devil. Last gen done, though. One of them's opening the gate. Okay. Go on, make a power struggle. No power struggle. Okay, well, I'm probably going to get left behind here. Let's face it. Okay, how about saving poor old Jeff here? She can't get me off while she's got Victor on? Oh my days. Meg! Save Jeff! Oh, she kicked the gen? Oh. Well, Meg, you know how you didn't take a hook? Oh no, here comes Victor. You know how you didn't take a hook all game? It's time. It's time. Oh my god, are we just gonna leave? <laughs> We're just gonna leave poor Meg there. <laughs> Shit. That's cold. Go on then, guys. Go on then. Go on then. Go save her. Okay, sure. I'm out. <laughs> oh no, Meg. Oh no. Okay, and as I'm regrettably actually having quite a lot of fun with this, uh, <laughs> with these no Myther builds, I'm gonna bring in Dead Hard this time. Actually give myself an extra chance to survive. Dressed up in a bright yellow pantsuit. We're definitely gonna survive here. Okay. Oh, I've just remembered the sounds the Yunjin makes. <laughs> okay, let's go Yunjin. It's the last try. Oh, it's Nemesis. Why can I see him so much? Oh my god, does No Mither 2 show me the show the killer my aura for way longer? What the fuck? Oh, it's a zombie! <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Let's do some totems. Wait, it's ready again? Wait. Is object 1 better than object 3? I'm so confused. Uh, all, all three of us here. Mmm, juicy. Alright, if we could do this gen here, dudes, that would be perfect. Oh, shit! Oh, he's a hungry boy. He went somewhere else. Very concerning. That's an angry zombie, too. Stay mad, zombie. You ain't gonna catch me. Alright, I do think this is looking pretty good. Zero hooks. Two gens. Why would you whip me there, man? Why would you whip me? Nice. Oh, I pressed it. Okay, fine. I'm the first one hooked. Pretty typical. Oh, Yui swing a totem. Nice, Yui. I like that about you. All right, now I am invested in UE safety. Do some sweet blocks. Dude, that was not a block. Oh my God, just one hit there. <laughs> oh dear. That's right, Meg. Loop him around where the survivor is on the hook. Save Jeff the puppy. He's all the way over in that back corner. Nice. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's go away from that. Not a big fan of that. Okay, right. I'm not really sure how to go about this. I know that back corner, Jen, uh, is nearly done. Or at least they were working on it. I do kind of want to cleanse myself. He's into tier three. He's got a big dick, and he's into tier three. Oh my god, he's hungry for the Yun Jin. Is it because I blend into the cornfield beautifully? Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, there's no pallets. That's a big stab. Oh. Okay, second hook for little Jeff. The puppy. Big sad. Run. Nice. Oh my god. Alright, if I can just go and not be seen by the killer. He's coming. Oh. Boom totem. Devil shit. Witchcraft. Uh, that's fine. Honestly, I kind of would be happy to just go over to an exit gate. In fact, I want to get in a locker. Fuck it. Locker life. There's no locker here. Okay, we're hiding. We're hiding. I'm hoping that generator in the corner over there that they've been working on gets done. Uh, and then I can just go straight for a gate. That would be the dream here. Finish the gen. Finish the gen. Finish the gen. I do want to save you, my friend. I do, I promise. But I'm not rushing it, okay? I'm not rushing it. We safe? We safe, Meg? Hell no, we're not. Well, I'm dead. I'm dead, GG. Shit! Oh my gosh, she's been saved. Interesting. Is that gen gonna pop? Come on. Do it. Do it, pussies. Come on, come on, come on. I wanna get out of here. Three escapes in a row while using no either is a bloody achievement, if you ask me. Oh, she did it! I'm committing to the gen, to the locker, to the... It's a bloody exit gate! I'm dead. Don't loop here! Yes. Nice. Oh, look, you've got no animation here. That's a bug. That's a bug. Oh. We're getting out. Third escape in a row. Using bloody no either. Jeez. Shows what my MMR is like. Pretty low. All right, GG. Honestly, GG's the survivor. I'm surprised at myself. Not myself. I'm surprised my team. Well done, team. <laughs> you carried me. Well, there we have it, everyone. Shrine Watch is wrapping up. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and maybe show a player, a friend of yours that is newer to the game, maybe they could really benefit from this series. Join me tomorrow for the news segment, and also tomorrow over on Twitch, I'm doing a competition with my friend Gibbs and Pieces. We are doing a Mori off, where we're going to play 10 games of killer, all the same killers, you know, each of us playing the same killers, and whoever has the most Mori's wins, and the loser has to eat a Carolina Reaper World's Hottest Chili 1.7 to 2.2 million Scoville units. Uh, it's going to be painful. So come along there, give me a follow on Twitch, and come and cheer for me. Or cheer against me. Maybe you want to see me suffer. That's fine too. I'll see you next time. Panda out.